Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. I'm super excited for today's video. If you watched the last video at the very end, I said today we are going to be attempting to break our PB. We're legit in a spot where I think it could happen. We're probably- Oh my God, this is the biggest fish I've ever caught. <laughs> I think this could potentially be a video with a lot of fish catches in it, and I'm just super excited. We're gonna be fishing on the kayak today. It's like my favorite type of fish, and I just love my kayak. You know, I talked about it all winter. Said I couldn't wait for it to get to the point where I could just like consistently fish on it. It's a little windy today. I think before we get on the kayak, we're gonna go to the bank on a spot where I caught a few fish a couple videos ago. We're gonna go try that spot out again. But anyway, guys, I came. I was driving around the pond. I was trying to see if there was anywhere I could put the kayak in that wasn't so windy to see maybe if later the wind will kind of die down a little bit. It's not super bad, but. You know, like perfect kayak conditions, it's like just zero wind. So we didn't find anywhere, but the spot that I just pulled up on, it had three fish that were like swimming on the bank and they were all like two, three pounds. And what's crazy is this is like a state lake and you think that this lake would just be overfished, but I think majority of the fishing that's done out here is like either bluegill, or like brim fishing, stuff like that. So the bass, I'm, I mean, this might be a safe assumption. Like all these fish in here, there are a lot of people that fish here are fishing from the bank. So I feel like if I put a kayak in here, places like back here, this is probably all untouched water. Like nobody's probably ever fished this this year. Maybe the maybe this spot back here has probably been fished about 10 times if I had to guess. So super, super excited for today's video, guys. I hope that y'all are excited as I am because I'm I'm pumped. I'm like pretty pumped. I was thinking about it all night last night. Since the last time I came here, I was like, I have to come back and put the kayak in because I just know I know this water's untouched and I caught three. I think I caught a three and a four last time I was here and they were all like in one location. So I saw a whole bunch of fish swim in the bank and I was like, man, if I could just get the kayak in there, if I could just get the kayak in there, we'd be in the money. So we're going to put the kayak in there today and hopefully we can find some big mouth bass. But for right now, I think I'm going to go to this spot over here on some rocks it's like a dam and i'm gonna try to see if i can maybe catch one to start off the video There's one. Guys, I hate to say it, but I accidentally deleted all the clips. I had caught a three and I lost two others. So welcome back to the video. Um, This is the smallest one most definitely of the day. We're just gonna flip them in. Definitely smallest one, still a good fish. We went to the car, got the scale. I'm gonna weigh them just because I had the scale. Not gonna lie, I was a little bummed out because I deleted all of the clips off my GoPro. But I mean, there's really not too much you can do about it. You just kind of have to keep fishing after you make a good mistake like that. Don't ask me how I managed to do that. Um, because honestly, I wouldn't have an answer for you. This fish came in the same spot as our first one did. Our first one was a three. There's like a little stump right there that he got hung up on. I fought him for about three minutes. It was a really cool fight. Wish y'all could have saw it. Um, but you know, it's just me being me and it wouldn't be it wouldn't be a Larry Melton Jr. video without me deleting 20 minutes worth of good fish catches off of my GoPro. But at least there was only like one legit. I only landed one. I lost the other two, so always be it could always be a lot worse. I could have got eight by the alligator. Oh, y'all don't even know about the alligator. But I guess y'all might. Let's go ahead and load this. Alright guys, we got fish number one of the day. Actually this is Fish number four, fish number two landed just because we have the scale and we need a new starting point since we don't have a starting point anymore. Um, all right, let's see. 114, the amount of 114s and 115s that I've caught on this channel is ridiculous. I'm honestly, I'm honestly starting to think that every fish is just a 114. 
It's either a dink, it's either, it's either a dink, it's big, or it's a 114. All right, see you later, 114. That's what I'm gonna start. That's what I'm gonna start calling fish. Their weight, that's 114. All right, we're gonna try not to delete any more clips off of the camera. And I backed up out of that spot because I think I might be able to catch more in it. Um, I've caught a lot, or I've caught two in that one spot so far. Earlier I had one fish catch, guys, I'm not lying to y'all. I had one, the fish was about a three or four, but they were like, I think there were three fish following it. I saw three, and I'm pretty sure there's probably more. Like if I would've had an A-Rig tied on, probably could've caught all of them. Hold it for about 10, 15 seconds. Like it was swimming in circles around the kayak. Like how my kayak was going in circles and you just had to be there for it. I mean, I was there for it, but I wish y'all could've, I wish I could've got it on video. If I did get it on video, I wish I could've saved the video so y'all could've saw it. But. All right, guys, I came back up to the truck to get the scale, but I saw the alligator over here. And just so y'all know, I was telling the truth, man. That's a real alligator. It's a, it's a big, real alligator. Right there. All right, guys, so we switched from the print side. We tied on a jerk bait. So in theory, the print side is a smaller lure. So in theory, you know, big lure means big fish. Oh, oh this is the spot I wanted to fish. No. Dang it. Well, I can't fish this spot. <laughs> Yeah, so basically, in theory, big lure meaning big fish. Oh my god, this is the biggest fish I've ever caught. <laughs> With the bigger jerk bait tied on, we should we should catch a bigger one. There's one on it, there's one on it. Oh my goodness, dude, that, oh my God, it's a carp, carp. Oh my God, I felt it hit it. What are the chances we caught a carp, dude? Oh my God, this is the biggest fish I've ever caught. Oh my God, this is, oh my God, dude, this is gonna hurt me, this fish. Oh my God, dude, look at that. That's a freaking carp, dude. This is my first carp I've ever caught on a jerk bait. Oh God, dude, this fish is gonna hurt me. Um, I don't know what you're supposed to do with the carp. Look at him, look at him. Dude, this is the biggest fish I have ever caught. Um. Oh my gosh. So guys, I have a carp on right now. I just picked up my phone and started recording on the phone. I don't know how I'm gonna land this because I'm on my kayak, as you can see. Um. Oh. There he goes, he's running, pulling drag. Yeah, I have no clue what to do. I think I might need to go up on land because I really want to land him. Gosh, I broke my kayak PB, I guess. That was the craziest fight in the world. When I first saw him, I thought it was a bass. I was like, oh my gosh, that thing is 100 pounds. But that is definitely a carp. I don't know what I'm supposed to do, honestly. Like, cause he's... Like, like what would you do in this situation? There he is. I mean, it could be a lot worse. It could be the gator. Yeah. Let's see if we can't take him somewhere. I don't think he's getting tired anytime soon. Guys, I honestly, I honestly feel like this thing could flip me over. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to put him in the kayak or what. I've been wanting to do a carp fishing, fishing episode. God. But I, I don't know. Jesus Christ. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I'm gonna just try to unhook them without like bringing them into the kayak. 
I don't know if that's gonna work, but let's see. I'm sure up there. It's right there, right there. I'm gonna break this. Okay, we're going we're going to land. I guess the kayak will be all right. We'll I guess it would be nice to have a net right about now. I don't even know how to hold a cart. Can I lift it? I make fishing YouTube videos. Oh, you do? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes, man. I heard him over there. That's so what I told him. Yeah, I want to take a picture. I want to get in the kayak, but I don't know how to how I should land them because I don't want to lose them. Put them on like the sand right there on the rock. I don't think if I raise them up, I'm gonna break my rod, but all right, we'll figure it out. Let's see. What's your name? Yeah. One more time. Gus. Gus. Nice to meet you. I'm Larry. All right, guys. So we have the scale already. Hey. All right. So if you can't tell, there's like a, I don't know how big it is. We'll say, how big do you think it is? About three feet. Three feet? Three feet. We have a three foot cart. According to our new friend Gus, he's helping us out on this one all right <laughs> I, don't, I went ahead and put the scale on them because the hooks almost got me let's see all right let's see. oh that's a big fish <laughs> being in the water all right It's still going. Gosh. 23 pounds, five ounces. That's a big fish. <laughs> yeah. That's the biggest fish I ever seen. Really? Give you credit on my YouTube video. Hold it. You wanna try? Or you can just hold the scale. Cause it's not it's not gonna hurt you. It's just Alright. I appreciate you. Said your name is Gus. Yeah. Gus. <laughs> oh, he's still right here. There he goes. Never mind. <laughs> I got a picture of him. Did. There he went. Oh well. That was cool. Yeah. <laughs> 23 pound? 23 pound cart. It's crazy. I appreciate your help. Yeah. Thank you very much. What type of fishing are y'all doing? Yeah. Watch out right there for that lure. I don't want you to hook yourself. Guys, I don't know if I'll be able to top that, honestly. But we're going to try. Um, just like we didn't snag that carp either. I'm pretty sure it actually tried to eat the jerk bait. All right, guys, that fish I just caught is definitely the biggest fish I've ever caught. I've been wanting to do a carp episode for a really long time, and I'm not sure if I'm going to do it anymore because I just caught a 23-pound carp in my kayak, which is a lot of fun. Yeah, let me know what you thought about today's video down below in the comments, guys. We're on the road to 100,000 subscribers. We are, I think, like five or 6,000 away. So 
it would help me out a lot if y'all just go and click the little subscribe button if you're not already subscribed i'd really appreciate it yeah let me know if you want to see me do a whole carp fishing video something i've been wanting to do so let me know how you feel about it do you think it's a good idea is it a bad idea let me know down below in the comments let me know what you thought about today's video thank y'all so much for watching don't forget to fish more and that was crazy i kind of want to do it again i kind of want to like purposely carp fish off of my kayak and then on top of like me catching the carp i caught on a 6.6 six medium rod I'm gonna pull up the Veritas real quick. The Veritas are actually 10% stronger than your average rod, so. You might wanna go pick you up a 6.6 six Veritas. I'm just saying, I caught a 23 pound carp on it. You saw how I was just kind of giving it a little dangle. And what happened to the rod? Still have it, still fish with it. Just saying. <laughs> Gosh, that was crazy. I need to catch a gator on that rod next. That's, that's going to be the new series on the channel. We're going to try to hook up into like the biggest fish in the world on a 6.6 .6 Veritas and see if we can ever just like snap it in half. 23 pound fish. I should have just boat flipped them. Maybe next time we'll boat flip it. <laughs> stay tuned. Or stay tuned. I hope y'all enjoyed today's video. Thank y'all for hanging out. See y'all.